Hello YouTube, how are you doing today? Welcome to the channel, welcome to another edition of Hints and Tips for Beginners in Cyberpunk 2077. In today's episode we're going to look at some clothing mods, some crafting specs, and we're also going to have a look at consumables which I think are really underused, especially by new players. Before we do that, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, it would really help me out. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's talk about consumables. If we go to our inventory, go to our backpack, the fourth page along is the consumables page. This is all the consumables I currently have. So some of these you'll be already using, things like max stock, things like bounce back, um, but there'll be things in here that you're not using, haven't used yet, and really should be using. So if you've got a tough fight, got a boss fight coming up, you might really benefit from using health booster. So 20% uh, increased health. So that's a 30 minute buff. Um, you've also got capacity booster. So if you're overburdened, picked up too much stuff, uh, drop one of these and that's for 30 minutes. You can increase your carrying capacity by 50%. Uh, Ram jolts, pop one of those for 30 minutes and you're going to have an extra two RAM units, a stamina booster, again another 30 minute buff that increases your stamina by 50%. Um, but there's also food, so if we look at this burrito here, it increases our max health by 5% and regen by 0.5% outside of combat. And then there's also drinks as well, which apply hydration, which increases max stamina by 10% and regen by 50%. So these things are gonna really, really help you out, especially if you play at the higher difficulty levels, but even at the lower difficulty levels, they're there to help you. And I think they're really underused. So get in and use them. So here we are at the clothing vendor in Kabuki. Uh, worth checking out any of the clothing vendors and weapon vendors because they do sell crafting blueprints and also mods and anything that can help your character out early game is definitely worth grabbing uh, so let's go and see what he's got so yep selling a couple of uh, blueprints here for clothing if you're interested uh, mods wise uh, he's selling three uh, now mods are not very expensive as you can see here, 63 eddies for showtime. Um, I would definitely pick this up, 6.5% extra damage against high threat and moderate threat enemies. Definitely worth having. Um, extra carrying capacity from the backpacker and extra movement speed. Um, definitely worth picking those up just to uh, help your character at this early stage. Okay, so here we are in Kabuki at the location of the rare crafting spec for the combat amplifier. So you'll find it just by these cement bags uh, in the blue box here. If we have a look on our map, uh, this is the location. It's just a little way away from Regina Jones, the fixer. And if we have a look at our crafting, we can see that this increases the chance to apply damage related status effects by 5%. So a useful thing to have on your guns, uh, especially if they have so thermal damage or uh, shock damage, etc. So the next location we're going to is the Second Amendment gun store here in Watson in V's building. Uh, so we're looking for the Uncommon Crunch crafting spec, uh, which Wilson should have. We're just going to check his inventory. Who do I spy? A happy new gun owner, I hope. And if he's got it, it's going to be down the bottom here. Uh, so it's not there now, so if you just back out. And then go to your menu, skip time for 24 hours. And then come back. And it's still not there, so come out. Skip time again. 24 hours. And there it is, the crafting spec for the Uncommon Crunch. Here we are at the final location we're going to in today's video. It's the Gunnarama Gun Shop in Kabuki. If we have a look on our map, it's just here. So in here we're going to find the rare crafting spec for the D5 Copperhead Assault Rifle. Looking to buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. 
Well, be my fucking guest. So you should find the crafting spec just here. If you don't, back out, advance the game 24 hours, keep doing that until the crafting spec is available. And yeah, pick this up, it's definitely going to help you out. It's a pretty solid gun for the start of the game. And you can keep crafting newer versions of it in line with your character's progression. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe, please feel free to do so because it really does help me out. And if you want to leave a comment, I'd really love to hear what you have to say. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be episode number seven.